So today I'm going to analyze the odd ones out. <clears throat> Chaperone and seventh graders. And the original video where I got all the screenshots will be in the description uh, as well as the creator. So yeah, just hop in the description for all the credit we do. <clears throat> Let's get moving. Oh my god, there's a plague. You guys can probably hardly hear me be over the plane. Am I loud enough? I don't know. Well, the plane, shut up. Okay, that's better. So he was starting off and saying how, like, if he, if he didn't, if you, if he kept talking about he run out of life to talk about, and then he made it smaller, and yeah. This means that YOLO. And he was talking about how he would just do stuff just to, uh, to get, um, he will do stuff just to be able to make a video, uh, about it. Um, and he had his plane picture. That means that he's willing to, like, jump off a bridge or something just to make a video about it later. Then he was talking about his mom's friend who is a junior high school teacher and how it's not fun and she doesn't even get paid that much to do it. That means that schools pay the teachers better. I mean, that's a scent bag. Give them a money bag. Then he was talking about how uh, his mom was telling... Um, the, the friend that he wanted to be a math teacher, and somehow he came up in the conversation. That obviously means he wanted to be a math teacher. Then he was saying how he wanted to be a math teacher and how it was fun. But then he became a YouTuber. That clearly means teachers stopped doing math and started doing YouTube classes. And then the friend asked if he wanted to tutor some 7th, 8th graders. That means that she didn't want to do her job. And he said, sure. Yeah. There are reasons he said, sure. Just watch the video in the description. He said, sure. Because, according to him, 7th, 8th graders are the worst people. This means that he does not like 7th, 8th graders. He said he was explaining math or, or something. I don't know what this was for or whatever. Then he called math boring, which means he probably just hates math even though he wanted to be a math teacher. Then he said that the friend asked if he could chaperone, and he said yes. This means he secretly loves the children. Then he was saying how, uh, basically when you're in 7th grade, there's this huge popularity contest and everyone's losing. And he said there's probably some subbies out there who think, oh, I'm not that bad. And then he said, but, 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 but this is obviously because he probably thought that. And he was in some good grade. Then he said, when, when you grow older, you'll look back at these days and hate yourself. That means he probably looked back at those days and hated himself. He said that the cool people were low socks. And then I guess it's because his school probably got that socks were low and cool. Got lower the sock level, got higher the coolness. That's what he said. Uh, I guess he said it again with his school thinking that sock level being low is cool. And then he was explaining how it looked like he didn't wear any shoes or, or socks. And that he was so cool because he wore girl socks. Again, with him saying that he, it looked like he didn't wear any socks. I guess it just didn't look like he was wearing any socks. Man. Again, with the girl socks. <laughs> he said they were going on a field trip. That means they were going on a field trip. <laughs> and they went to the big college in Arizona. I guess that means they went to the big college in Arizona. He was hoping that his class would know who he was and start forming lines because even though it says that the majority of the people who watch him are um, 
18 to 24 year olds get, 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 I mean, they suck. Kids quit lying to YouTube. Says the 10 year old who lied to YouTube. So he was expecting for people to start forming lines, and kids are lying to YouTube. Yeah. He was uh, expecting for people to start forming lines, like I said earlier. You know, taking photos. But that never actually happened. That means that kids hate him. He was expecting with all the kids online who were asking him to collab, that at least one kid would know who he was. And then he said how apparently in his school or whatever, the cool kids sat in the back and the uncool ones sat in the front. But then he said the opposite was true because he sat in the front. Oh, <laughs> I suck. He went up to them and asked them if they watched any YouTube videos because he wanted to know if, um, you know, he asked them a question because, yeah. And then he realized he was one of those, uh, he, he, he sounded like one of those like, old people who don't know what to say. And he asked them what they wanted to be when they grow up. And he was expecting them to say, like, you know, like, astronaut or doctor. And then he explained how, he could, how they could do that in college. But apparently they said nothing. This means that they hate him. He wanted to somehow bring up that he had over a million subs on YouTube. <clears throat> so he asked people um, if they watch any YouTube videos. And no one said anything except one person said rice gum. And there was an entire like thing about rice gum in the video. I didn't put the screenshot so go, go check out the video. And then he said how, how they passed by another school. And for a split second, there was actually this screenshot. So they passed by, and one kid just started saying, oh, The odd one's out! The odd one's out! And then James is like, Hey! And then they just parted ways. Then he started complaining how that kid wasn't in his group. This means that he actually wished that someone would call attention to him. And then he said that preparatory kids are way cooler. And do you want to know something funny about that? He went to a preparatory school. Boom! We caught you! And apparently one of the kids in his group actually did watch his videos. Their name was Connor. But they're too shy to say anything. But he was cool. They ain't lunch together. He was like, oh man, I'm not making a connection with these kids. At all. And then, do you want to know what he did? Again, with kids hating him. Do you want to know what he did? Hey kids, I have a million subs on YouTube! And then he admitted that it was super tacky. Then he was saying how he finally made a good connection with him. You're freaking tacky! Super tacky using your sub count to make friends! And then he was saying how he didn't need their permission. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha, ha ha ha. And then he started talking about how most of the time it wasn't the people who were failing math weren't failing because they don't understand material, but because they were missing assignments. This means that kids suck. Cheating kids. I don't cheat. I'm not turning my work. <clears throat> now I'm gonna take a quote from the other judge. I'm about to give you all tutoring advice to girl you guys kids turn in your work being late is better than zero